This is Lewis Hart from Inzu Boxing. Delighted today to be joined with Pierce O'Leary. A massive fight week. How are we? Very good, Lou. Very, very good. How are you feeling? You know, we've got the O2 behind us. Um, a special arena. Big night, big night for you. How, you know, how are you feeling going into it? Yeah, it feels really good. I'm really relaxed. Um, it doesn't feel like fight week, really. I'm so settled in. I'm happy. Everything's gone perfect. I've been, been in camp since August, so... Um, yeah, come Saturday, it's going to be a great show. I'm going to look for the KO. You've been in camp since August. been a long camp for you. How's this been different, would you say? Has it been different to you know any other ones that you've done? Um, no, nah, not really, no. It's just like the hard work has always been put in regardless, hasn't it? So, so it's, just, it's just been a lot easier being able to pop into the gym and, and, and being there and getting them, them kind of, that, that kind of walk that I need on the pads and the bags and and taking our time walking on certain stuff and just, just adapting and rather than doing an eight week camp where you're kind of rushing to prepare for a fight where you're just going in and you're gelling and you get more time to walk on certain stuff not worrying about certain things and yeah listen and then since the eight week camp since the eight week camp boom that was it then everything changed nutrition start sparring getting the rounds in the sparring getting getting um, the strength strength condition going getting all that kind of stuff moving so um, pretty much, it's gone perfect. Like it, it, it's a bit strange how it feels because it actually doesn't feel like a fight week. It just feels like another day in the office come Saturday. So I'm sure if you know, it feels like another day. You know, no, no nerves. Not really. Not really that nervous then. Nah, nothing. No, nah, nothing. It's a more excited about getting getting the win and lifting that belt. Yeah. You said you've been. A, it's been a long camp for you. Do you do you feel much more benefits than having it over over a prolonged period of time rather than just you know cramming it all into you know a couple of weeks? Yeah, hundred percent, definitely, um, definitely. Like even even spending a little bit of time at home um, and then come back over here and start camp. It wasn't. It's more so. It's so you're getting that two weeks into the change, adapting that you're you're back over in another country, you're, you're training away and stuff like that. Like where I hadn't got that. It was just literally full on focus. So boy, doing the two week adapting, like it's only six weeks to the fight then, you know. So. Yeah, listen, it's just gone perfect. Like, it's a bit weird to say that, like, but yeah, everything's gone to, to the T, how, how I could um, imagine. What's it like for you training in England, you know, um, and like you said, you've spent some time back with your family, but is it, you know, important to, you know, um, when you're in camp, being fully focused on, you know, just fighting? Being away, um, it's just, do you know what it is? It's kind of a lot more, I wouldn't say better, like, but listen, it, there is a little bit more focus there because if you, if you, inspired and things don't go your way you're going back home to yourself and you get to speak to yourself and say right i need to i need to tighten up on this part i need to do this i need to do that and i'm going wherever wherever done wrong on that night i'm going back in the gym the next day walking on it for the next day after that day and for the next day of sparring so i'm walking on things like that like i'm not family is everything to me and 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 being away from home is very very hard but Listen, it's very doable, but it's doable when, when they're, they're your biggest boy, you know what I mean? I'm sure it'll feel, you know, really good to, to share a card with fellow stable mates, you know, all being on the car together. Um, as I always say, iron sharpens iron, you know, you've got some great, great talents at your gym, including yourself. Um, to share a card with them must be even better. Yeah, 100%. Like, you've got Dennis, you've got Sam, like, we, we've all got titles. Well, they've all got titles. We're all fighting for titles on the same night, so it's going to be, like, crazy electric night you know it's gonna be amazing everyone's buzzing in the gym and uh, some big fights coming up for a few of the lads also so listen the gym in, in 12 16 months is gonna be flying absolutely flying we'll be on the world stage definitely being from kent myself you know you know how uh, i know how you know big the gym is over there i know uh, bromley it's not really in, it's like kent or london but you know it, it's a you know it's a, it's a it's a massive gym especially you know sort of in the southeast area um do you help uh, do you help each other out a lot you know when it comes to different things not in just boxing but you know even the business as well like giving each other you know little bits of advice yeah listen we will we, we'll, um we'll, like if, if someone has a question like we're not scared to you know, like we're there, we'll answer, we'll, answer we'll, we'll, we'll guide someone in the right direction or st stuff like that. You know, that's the way we are, and that's the way when I came over here, I was just a little kid from, from Dublin, you know what I mean? I wanted a backpack, and what well, coming up the march, you know, it's really three years. So um, I've got everything that I could imagine, you know what I mean? I've got my own place, like where I'm renting, um, feels like home. But that's what I'm saying, like, it feels like home here. Dublin, oh, London's like a second home to me, so fighting here, like it's. 
it's great. Do you know what I mean? Like, if they said, oh, i got to fight in Manchester, you're like, ah. Oh. Do you know, because I'm getting a little bit, not in my comfort time, but I'm getting more so. Um, I'm thinking about ticket sales, fans. That's what I'm, because that's what I'm after. That's what, and that's what, and that's what I want to do. The more fans behind me, the more, like, do you know what I mean? The more that extra energy you feel. So, um, yeah, listen, we're all in it together. I'm sure, you know, you call this a second home, but I'm sure one day you'd love to, you know, headline a show back in Dublin, you know, there's no one that gets behind their own like the Irish, and I'm sure one day you have great ambitions to, you know, be one of them, you know, headliner in, in Dublin. Yeah, well, listen, we're going we're, we're gonna to fight here, we are, um, Saturday night, and then we'll see in the new year, but um, by the back end of ne next year, we're going to sell out the tree arena, that's my back garden, so I literally live two minutes from there, I ran by it as a kid, Visualise myself sending it out many, so many times, so that's where we're going to be heading. That's some special stuff, man. For people that don't know already, what can people expect from Pierce O'Leary on Saturday night? Expect the KO before the fourth round. Best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you for your time, mate.